Yo, what's up, fam, and welcome to today's video. I'm using this big fucking... Look at this tripod. Look at this. Look how big this tripod is. So I forgot my other one at home because I've been using this one to film my TikToks. Now I don't have my actual one to vlog, and this thing's massive. So if I have to go outside and film part of my video, people are going to be definitely looking at me like I'm some kind of psycho, but whatever, we're still going to film. I'm waiting for Miranda to get home, and I believe we're going to be going to lift potentially at the Assiniboine Park, they have like this Terry Fox workout setup. So there's like bars and stuff. You can do chin ups and there's like push up stuff. There's actually like a dip station. It's all body weight stuff, but still it's sick. So we're probably gonna hit the lift there, but it is raining, right? Oh no, it has, it's it stopped raining. But if it rains, we probably won't go or maybe we will still go, I have, I have no idea. But what I wanted to talk about this video and what the title of the video is, is that I get this question a lot and it's, how I pretty much stay fit throughout the entire year. And by that I mean like lean, still being able to build muscle, not like fluctuating up and down like crazy. In my mind, in my head, this is where we all came from. The dreams. The biggest thing for me has been intuitively eating and not trying to follow any type of fad or trends or trying to do like a big bulk and then doing like a crazy cut. I try to maintain fairly steady, something that I can maintain, something that is balanced enough for me to continue doing all year round. Because as soon as you start to go on this roller coaster of trying new things, it's extremely hard to sustain it. Like trying to do like a carnivore keto diet like which i think is absolutely insane if you're doing that you should probably stop because it's not good for your health but <laughs> something like that is completely unsustainable and if if you're able to do that for the rest of your life god bless but <laughs> it's not gonna end well doing any type of those things like there's tons like i'm even saying like vegan if you're someone that wants to go vegan make sure it is a lifestyle choice something that you're gonna do for a long time or for the rest of your life don't just do it because you want to lose some weight or for other little reasons and you don't think you're gonna be doing it for a long time. That's what I mean, it's not sustainable because you're only gonna be doing it for a little bit and then you're gonna go back to the way you used to be and then you're gonna start looking for new things. You're just gonna ride this crazy roller coaster. So what I've done is literally just found something that I like that I can enjoy and that I can sustain. I like to have my meat once in a while. I like to eat a lot of veggies. I try to maintain a healthy habit. Obviously, I don't go crazy with cheat meals, but I will have a cheat meal. I'm not insanely strict. The only time I'm ever strict is if I'm doing a competition, but I always keep inside my head that I know this is a temporary thing that after this competition, I'm going back to the way I was balanced. Now, creating this balance, creating the intuitive eating, that takes time. That's finding yourself, finding something that works for you and creating a habit. Off the beginning, you will have to search for something that is going to work for you. So you might be trying like a vegan diet or a freaking carnivore keto diet. I'm just kidding, don't try that. But like a keto diet or a paleo diet, any type of diet. And people think that the diet's a bad word, but if you actually look up the word diet, it's like, what's a cat's diet? What's an any animal's diet? A diet is just what they eat. But people perceive diet now as like, you're trying to lose weight. Which, if that's what you think, then try not to think of that way, because that's not the way I'm trying to say it. But like, when you're trying to figure out your diet or your nutrition, it just has to be something that works for you. So what I did is, I knew what my goals were. I knew that I wanted to put on muscle. So I started obviously doing my research, finding out the things that I had to have within my diet to get me there. And then I also started looking up the things like, okay, like what can I be lenient on so I can still go out with my friends, have a couple of drinks, you know, go have a cheat meal and not be like worried about it that I'm gonna lose all my gains. So after a while, I started to figure out that my body could handle like 90% of the time being like good and eating eating well. The other 10%, you know, go have some drinks, go have a cheat meal, have a pizza, fucking crush that thing like no tomorrow. But on the other hand, the training with that 90% nutrition is what made it work, really. is th That literally is how it made it work. But it took a lot of time to figure out like how my body was balanced and how much I could actually eat. Because off the beginning, I obviously needed some help and I was always trying to find out like, okay, like how much protein am I gonna have? How much fat, how much chicken? And then that was like the hard part. So off the beginning, 
It's gonna be hard for you to figure out exactly what you're gonna be eating, but after you start to visualize and know, okay, like this is a good amount, it takes literally years, like that's the right amount of chicken. Like I know that's a good amount, I know that's gonna hit my protein, this amount of carbs is gonna hit my car, help me hit my carb intake. It doesn't have to be like to the T, like one gram, but I'm talking like within like 10 to 15 grams, like you can start to visualize it. When you get to that point, that's when you can start to just not use like a scale or anything like that and you can just know that okay I'm gonna go into the fridge grab a chicken breast cook it up the way I like it have like a cucumber some tomato lettuce make a little salad have my rice put some sauce on there and still be within your caloric intake and your macros and then fucking at the weekend you can still go out and do what you need to do go have a good time and drink and <laughs> whatever i don't know whatever your good time is but that's what i'm saying so it's really not that hard it just takes time just don't be searching for the trends the fads the thing that is going to work best and get you fucking lean in two seconds no just find something that will work for you and will give you a balanced lifestyle so you can still achieve your goals and Live your life. The wild mandith has arrived. Oh, I got one eyelash on. See what mandith is cooking up. She got some weeds from the garden and some more weeds from the garden. She's straight vegan. It is time to lift. I already took my creatine. We have my pre-workout. Miranda's over there. We just ate a meal. I had some basmati rice, chicken, cucumber, very simple and go-to meal. And now we're gonna go to Assiniboine Park and hit a somewhat lift with what we can. We're probably just gonna go for like 30, 40 minutes. Maybe do some abs and a little bit of back. I mean, on my hair. <laughs> this is what happens every single time she comes into the camera. She goes to talk and then she'll just look at herself and find something that's not right and then walk away and not say what she was gonna say. Right, babe? Is she the fucking cutest thing though? Look at her, look at her. Look, look. I don't know. Look. I don't know, <laughs> Now I'm waiting for him. Babe, let's go. Me? Yeah, babe, let's go. Okay, let's go. There's these shovels here that he wants me to stop, pick up, and put in your trunk. Shovels? He wants the handles. Shovels? Yeah. That are they're, ours or someone else's? Are we stealing them? Else's. So we're stealing shovels. No. Did you hear that? Her grandpa wants us to steal shovels. What kind of grandpa is that? They're supposed to be nice, kind people. Yeah, well, mine's Asian. <laughs> My car's full of pollen. Look at this. Okay, can you look It's in. I mean, it's open. It's in. I'll be the one to tell you that. Can you? Babe. My, I actually lost my wall. I can't leave. Are you ready? I'm ready. She's not. She's on TikTok looking at her haters. Are you? No. So <laughs> Just kidding. Some girl on from Melbourne. Some oh my god. Lot. Because it's so, like my 7% of my TikTok followers, which is a lot, are from Australia. And if you know anyone from Australia, you all know that they're the hottest people on, on the earth. So you're saying she's a banging babe and she's well, trying just, to get in your I'm pants. Well, I am looking at her. Let's see. Blonde. Maybe you trying to smash? No, blondes aren't my type. But she's cute. Aren't your type. So you're saying you have a type of women. Um, are you saying that you have a type of women? I do. Um, are you trying to break up with me? Mm-hmm. Okay. Burn guys, out. you guys heard it first. She's breaking up with me, and <coughs> she's gonna date a girl. This is Miranda. It's and I would just like to say, you guys don't have to conform to any. She has no fucking idea what she's saying, and yeah. You don't have to conform. So fucked. Why do you say the most messed up shit ever? Tell him what you just said. No. <laughs> Tell him what you just said. Billy said that he lost his virginity to a girl with a set of H's. Obviously, they look like this. I was like, oh. Ugh. Like your mom's tits that you sucked on? Because Fatima has really big boobs, guys, okay? Guys, who the fuck says that? <laughs> <laughs> your girlfriend should never make tea. a comment about your mom and how it reminds you of any sexual activity you've ever done in your whole life because that is fucking scarring. That is the worst thing you can think of. Nobody wants to think of that. Here is our workout station. This is the main spot we're going to be at. So we have three 
pull up bars, I'm probably gonna do some leg raises, ab workouts. I'm gonna do a lot of hanging ab stuff just because I don't normally do that at home and that's what I normally do at the gym. So we're gonna be using that and I'm gonna be hitting back. So like a back ab day. There's like a climbing rope over there, some other shit down there. Miranda's currently running around the track right now <laughs> by herself. How is your 10K run, Terry Fox? Thank you, thank you. Thank you. I just ran across Canada. It's fucking lit. JK, nobody could live up to Terry. He's nah. great. It's a motherfucking Holy legend. Shit, I'm out of breath. That was like what? 200 meters? It's like 200 meters. It's more than 200 meters. Think uh -huh. about the 200 meter dash, loser. Okay, that's like 400. Maybe. No, that's not a track. It's not 400 a track. 400 meters is a track. No, 800. 800 meters is a track. Where's the 400? I don't know, what's a track? Is it 400 meters? 800 meters. I feel like that was 400 meters. 100 meter dash. Yeah, so. Oh, goddamn. Yeah, it is 400. Because it's 100, 100, 100, 100. It's four. But yeah, that was. 500. Fucking hard. That was my warm up, so 400 meters. I think we're gonna like switch on and off and then do abs and back with a little bit of cardio. That's the plan. Okay, your turn, babe. Go. Go! Hi, babe. <laughs> Look at her go. Look at her fucking go. Ooh -wee. All the fans are fucking roaring. <laughs> <laughs> Workout is pretty much done. So I did what I said. We did some pull-ups. We did some abs, some legging, hang raises and stuff. And then we did some ground work. As well, we did some laps. We did five laps around our so-called 400 meters of track. Some mosquitoes, we're kind of getting bit. So we're losing gains. The mosquitoes are gaining some steroids. Actually, I'm just this kidding. gym is actually really hard. Yeah, this gym is hard. It's advanced. Like if you're like me, I need a band or something like to wrap around so I can do pull-ups on this type of bar. I help her though. I go under her. Maybe. I get assists. You guys want to see? Yeah, yeah, let's go. Now you might think that this is your regular regular bar, but I can do pull-ups on the regular regular bar. <laughs> this is just not that. And that, whoa, why is it so dark? <laughs> it's so dark. Yeah, my friends. Is how it's done. You guys wanna know something super exciting? I'm gonna be announcing the launch date very, very soon and i've been waiting for this day forever because of the whole covid thing i haven't been able to announce it because i've been waiting on shipment details and production and all that shit. but these sexy joggers the ones miranda is wearing too guess what they're coming back they are launching last time they sold out in two weeks and i've had a lot of i'm getting requests. a second pair oh yes yeah. so honestly same i fucking love them and they're coming back bringing i think 150 of them Come back. back and stock, bro. Oh, yeah. So we're going to sell them out. You guys better snag your pair when they do come in. I'm thinking. You uh, better cop a feel, homie. Not cop a feel. <laughs> cop a feel. <laughs> you got to cop a pair, homie. Okay, so you guys are the only ones that are going to know this, but it's not 100% yet. Oh, oh, babe, let's go this way. It's faster. Um, I'm thinking of launching July 11. But Gosh. I can't say it for sure. It's not official. But that's the date I'm aiming for. But it might get pushed back one week. I'll be announcing it very, very soon with the official launch date. But just so you guys know, it'll be around that time. So you can cop. What the fuck just. I think that bird just died. Oh my god, I think they're having sex. Come on, son. Hi, Pinky. Hi, baby. You know what my goal is? Besides hitting a thousand subscribers, a hundred. I almost said a hundred. Remember that? Oh, yo, that was a good time. I ate like a hundred chicken nuggets for that video. That was a good fucking video. What am I gonna do for a thousand? Do like a thousand chicken nuggets? Just kidding. But you wanna know what my actual goal is for this summer? Is to rip this fucking t-shirt in half of my yeah. I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, but for real, I'm ending the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed this short vlog 
slash informational video in the beginning. Um, if you're new, you guys know what to do. Hit the subscribe button. If you're watching this, subscribe. I don't know why you're not subscribed if you're watching. And the smashy thumbs up button because it helps me out. And I want to rip this fucking t-shirt and get a thousand subscribers. Peace.